Alrighty guys, so today it is a little bit warmer out and the phone is recording outside without freezing and glitching. It's not my phone, it's my grandma's phone. That's because my phone's at my house and besides I'm videotaping it so my grandmother can see it because she wants to, well I don't know what she actually wanted to see. But I said I'd videotape it so she could see because she can't really come out here and look herself. But um, for those of you who watched the skunk video, unfortunately the skunk wasn't in it. You know though that the skunk was in the chicken coop and he got out of the chicken coop from the inside which means he can get back in so the way he got out was right there in the corner and what I've done is I have um, put a some chicken wire up so that he can no longer get back in so if you look here that hole is where he got out but now I have chicken wire there so he will no longer be getting in from the outside <coughs> and then there's one other spot over here where whether this was like all open, but I just put this chicken wire on here, and then I have these here, and I'm going to use them to tie them together up here. But I put this in here so that nothing will be getting out, and nothing will be getting in from there. And of course, I'm just going to set a whole bunch of leg traps and live traps all around this thing to make sure no weasels or minks or anything gets in here and kills the chickens. Because for those of you who watched the last video, you know we finally got chickens, so... As far as I know, the skunk is actually still in here. When I was videotaping in here, I never actually got to post a video where I was videotaping a skunk in here. Out here, over there is where he disappeared under all that stuff, so not exactly sure if he's in here still. I haven't smelled him in a few days now, so I think he must have left. But for a few days, I was tracking to see if he was still in here because you could tell by the snow outside because there were his tracks. But now there's no snow, so I can't. But... Anyway, I just figured I'd point this out since I only just noticed this recently. Look at this really nice buck my grandpa has here that I'm pretty sure he shot. Well, it's got like this one, then it's got this one, but this one has like like two little nubs on it. It's the weirdest thing. Look at that. It's got like two coming off. I've never seen a deer like that before, and I actually, that's been sitting there for years, and I've seen it for years. I just didn't notice that it had that until just recently so that was kind of cool to see but anyway so under here is where the skunk got out and you can see a lot better from this angle that now the chicken wire is in the way and he no longer can get in here into there so I'm glad that worked out no critter will be getting in there anymore but still I think what I'm gonna do is right here I'm gonna put a uh, leg trap so if anything tries to get in there It'll just catch it immediately because I know that if an animal tried hard enough, it could definitely tear in there. And I don't want my chickens to die, obviously. So then I have a live trap here, live trap there, live trap here. But I'm going to clean out behind here. And hopefully there's enough room back there for the medium live trap to fit back there. Because anything going up along the edge of the cage will be caught then as well. And that will be good. Now... <coughs> I'm not exactly sure about the outside, but along this, the whole thing, there's like a lip that I can stick my hand about that far back under. And I think something could possibly be able to get in from the outside if it tried hard enough, which would be bad. Say eat my chicken. But, but, I don't, I don't really know. I just got, I mean, Grip was done. My Grip had chickens in here for years, and I don't know if he, like, he always had traps set to catch the critters. I don't know if you ever lost chickens and animals. But then one other thing I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to do it today or not. But one way or another, this is going to be cut out. This bottom board here. Maybe a half of this top board here. And uh, we're going to cut a chicken-sized hole there so that they can get outside. And what I'm going to do today is actually I'm going to set up that electrical fence as well. So I'll go, I'll go show you the electrical fence. I'm going to be setting up just real quick. And uh, then we'll stop the video right there. So in the description, I'll have a link to my my brother Henry's channel, my sister Catherine's channel, and my friend Ethan Wolf's channel. Go ahead, check them out. My sister Catherine does like artsy stuff, so she creates things. My brother Henry does stuff where he like eats things that burn his mouth. And my friend Ethan does a lot of miscellaneous cool stuff. So check their videos out in the link and in the links in the description. And here we go. Here's the fence. It is an electrical fence, but I have nothing to power it, make it electrical. There's like something you usually set up. But I'm just going to take this guy, and actually I'm going to go set him up today. So thanks for watching. 
if you aren't already subscribed, go ahead, subscribe, leave a like, and share this video with some people. I would really appreciate that, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.